Up next, the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Series Fan Channel Exclusive Spider-Man 2099. Let's talk about it. What up party people in the place? I am the Ruckus and these are my toys. On deck, we have the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Series Spider-Man 2099 Fan Channel Exclusive. This is basically a re-release of the previous figure, the previous Spider-Man 2099 that was in the Hobgoblin wave from a couple years back. Um, just some different paint deco. They just changed him up a little bit. Uh, really great for those that missed out on um, that version of him back then. You get your opportunity to get him now. As far as the packaging is concerned, it is in the uh, retro style packaging. You have the Spider-Man logo based on the 90s cartoon at the top of the card. And you have to the side, you have... Uh, artwork of Spider-Man 2099 in that 90s cartoon style. Uh, you have the figure in a crab shell clearly displayed uh, along with his accessories. He comes with two sets of additional uh, pairs of hands and uh, that's really all you got going on. It's a retro style card and uh, yeah so since it is a card there is no there are no sides so we look here on the back and uh, you have more of the same, the Spider-Man logo, the Spider-Man 2099 artwork. You also have an illustration showing how to change the, uh, the additional sets of hands and you get a, a small uh, readout. Uh, it, uh, it states, when a lab accident causes half his DNA to be rewritten with the spider's genetic code, geneticist Miguel O'Hara become Spider-Man. That about sums it up. That is what happened to him. Get it back to the front here and get our last look at uh, Spider-Man 2999 in packaging because he's about to come out of this John. Be back in a hot second. So here we have Spider-Man 2099 out of the packaging. And as I stated previously, this is just a re-release. Um, there are some differences which we will go over, but essentially same color scheme, same style uh, of, of costume with, uh, as I uh, just said, some slight alterations. You got the blue with the red highlights. Um, the original was also blue with red highlights, but the blue was more metallic and darker, uh, had a more metallic sheen on it, but it had the same thing with claws. Uh, the clawed hands in uh, the red uh, uh, lining and the red spider logo on the chest. Uh, one difference is uh, this version of Spider-Man 2099 comes with accessories. Uh, two additional pairs of uh, hands. The first version came with Denata with nothing. Just, just the figure uh, as you would uh, just see him in the package and that's about it. But um, anyhow, we'll uh, take a look at uh, the differences uh, with the with the other version in a hot second. Um, right now, though, we will uh, get close up and personal with this version. So looking at uh, Spider-Man 2099, close up, zoomed in. You can see the, uh, the deco on the mask. And... Uh, I'm um, happy to say that uh, my paintwork is uh, is clean. You always like that, I tell you. As far as uh, the rest, he's got good clean work on his chest, the 
the spider emblem. The lines going down his torso look really good, not sloppy at all. You've got uh, good line work going down his arms and uh, extending to the, uh, the top portions of his hands. Same thing with this side. It's all good. Gotta love it. Nothing on the back. He's got the uh, his uh, his wing cape attached to him on the back there, and uh, yeah, that's about uh, pretty pretty doggone spiffy. Um, this uh, spider pattern on his chest is different from the twenty. Uh, I was about to say 2099 from Spider-Man 2099 uh, from the Hobgoblin wave. Uh, we'll see those differences uh, momentarily. Taking a look at his articulation, we have his head is uh, on a uh, ball hinge joint. He can look down that far, look up that much, pretty good. No real attitude, but you do get the 360, which is which is cool. Shoulders can do about 90. You get 90 uh, one, uh, 360 degree rotation at the shoulders. You've got 360 degree rotation at the bicep. You've got double jointed elbows. They are pinned elbows. This is once again an older mode. This is the uh, Pizza Spotty Buck. You do have the pins. They're uh, the same color as the costume on the inside. And just like with the uh, with the uh, mainstream Spider-Man, the outside, unfortunately, they're not painted in. So that's an eyesore. Um, it's been an issue for forever, but maybe that'll be corrected eventually. Now that they're doing the uh, pinless joints. He has butterfly joints up there. He also has a uh, an ab crunch. This one is hard. Um, seemed to be easier on the older version, but you can get back that much. Go back not that much at all. And uh, he does have waist rotation. As far as the splits. He can do the splits that much, which isn't very much for a spider themed character. He can kick nice and far though, so gotta appreciate that. He has a thigh cut, which is cool. He's got double jointed knees. He has a foot articulation, he can point his toe that much, up that much. He has ankle rocker and peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Spider-Man 2099 comes with a pair of fists. They have that uh, paintwork on the tops of the uh, hands and uh, fortunately mine are clean. He also comes with a pair of wall crawling hands. Yay! It's, uh, it's strange how the uh, MCU version never gets any wall crawling hands. He is Spider-Man after all. But uh, yeah, once again, the paintwork at the top of the hands are nice and clean on mine. So happy about that. So as promised, we have the old with the new. So on our left, we have the retro series Spider-Man 2099. And on the right, we have the Hobgoblin Wave Spider-Man 2099. And as I stated uh, previously, the immediate difference that uh, stands out is uh, the, uh, the dark metallic blue color of the Hobgoblin Wave version. Um, don't mind him uh, standing at my legs are warped. As you can see, he's getting his Idris elbow on. Um, but uh, yeah, the, uh, the blue, it's uh, darker and has a uh, metallic sheen to it. Uh, and... Uh, the reds are, the reds are um, pretty similar. There may be uh, uh, just a slight difference in shading with the reds. Um, I think um, they look a little different because of the different shades of blue. But uh, 
yeah, still, they both look good. The other um, thing that stands out immediately uh, would be the uh, insignia on the, the chests. You can see that they're different uh, on um, the retro series. The spider emblem is uh, skinnier. Let's just leave it at that. And uh, the Hobgoblin series version, the, uh, the body of the spider uh, logo is uh, fat. And with those, uh, 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 they look, it looks like it's a head. It looks like those are eyes staring back at you. But uh, that's the other difference. Another difference is, uh, as I stated before, um, the retro series version has three pair of hands. He was uh, in package with uh, clawed hands. Um, I believe those are uh, no, they're not. Uh, they're not carnage hands, but they are. Uh, they are definitely more pronounced than the hands that came with the hobgoblin version. They were, uh, even though they're clawed, they were not as big. So there are your differences uh, between the old and the new. And then once again, the old and the new side by side, you have on the left, obviously the Spider-Man 2099 from the Spider-Man Retro series. And you have the uh, Spider-Man 2099 in his uh, newer costume that uh, it was short-lived he ended up going back to uh, the uh, the blue and red, but uh, for a short period of time, he was in the black, white, and red. And um, you can see the uh, the obvious differences in the uh, between the two costumes. And uh, joining Spidey 2099 up with another character that's from a different timeline in the future is uh, we've got um, Clint Barton, a.k.a. Hawkeye's daughter here. Spider, B-I-T-C-H. Yes, she calls herself that. I did not make that up. And now going in the opposite direction on the timeline, we have Spider-Man Noir next to Spidey 2099. The crazy thing about uh, Noir's timeline, uh, his world, it's all in black and white. Um, similar to the old, old uh, noir uh, novels and uh, uh, books and uh, illustrated books and things of that nature. So uh, they uh, came up with a, uh, a universe for uh, a noir version of Spider-Man. And uh, this, this version is also called Peter Parker in that, uh, in that universe. Having Spidey 2099 side by side with another member of the Spider-Verse agents there. We've got uh, Spider-UK. And last, but by no means least, another member of the Inter the Spider-Verse gang, you've got Spider-Ham. So to sum it all up, as I stated at the beginning, Spider-Man 2099 from the Spider-Man Retro series is uh, simply a re- paint a reissue if you will of the previous hobgoblin wave version of the character uh there are some different paint apps like uh the chest emblem the older version is uh, darker and more metallic than this version this version comes with uh three pair of hands including uh large clawed hands fists and uh, wall crawling hands the original version the first version came only with the hands attached to the body, and that was about it. Um, this, the blue on this version is uh, more matte and lighter, uh, but other than that, um, it's essentially the same, the same figure. So um, you don't have to run out and get this if um, you already have the Hobgoblin Way version of it, unless you're a completionist like myself got to get it, got to get it, or if you happen to like the decos on this version better than the previous one, you may be inclined to get it. Other than that, it's, uh, you can pass, it's, uh, it, it's an easy pass, I guess. I like the character, but, uh, or the figure, but then again, um, 
these days is real difficult for Hasbro to make a figure that I don't like. So having said that, that concludes this review. Thank you guys for rocking with me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe and smash that bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. Until the next time, my peeps, remember, the hunt continues. And I'm out. Peace.